What up guys, Jerry Kidrimold, and sometimes I get ahead of myself, right? Sometimes I'm just like, sometimes I'm creating, I'm not recording, so I did that recently. That's what you see right here. So, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you guys don't, follow me on Instagram, just look up Drippo Rama, alright? That's the name of my, of my page on Instagram. But I, you know, I post on the stories a lot, and then um, I was actually experimenting. I actually um, recently got this. Now, I went to go visit a friend. Uh, he's he's the owner of Austin uh, Toy Museum. And this guy has a crazy collection. I have a crazy collection, but his is like, he's very vintage. I think we're in the same age, but he has a lot of the old school stuff. So I go over there all the time as much as I can to go visit a guy and also contribute. You know, look at his collection, but cool guy. So I he did this like aircraft carrier that was pretty dope, and he had like a mountains and stuff. And I noticed I was like, yo, what is what is he using? You know, what is he using to do that? Because it looked different, it looked a little bit more organic. And he was like, oh, just get spray foam. So that's what I got right here. We got spray foam. And guys, this is like for like sealing gaps and cracks. And um, he told me he uses this to, to create his mountains. So it motivated me to get it and get curious. And this is what I came up with. And it's not done yet. So you guys caught me right in the middle. So yeah, I just finished posting the Akira um, capsule video, right? And it just, I'm, I'm on this Akira high, you know? So I'm just like, hmm, this guy right here would be perfect for creating uh, Tetsu's arm. At one point, his arm gets loses control and it's just like this crazy amount of like meat and fingers and it's very surreal. Like you got, you got different fingers and you got, you got a weird metal thing coming out and wires and different shades of muscles. So um, towards the end of the movie, he goes like this and then he, start, he loses control and he turns into this crazy uh, big looking blob. So, I started creating this guy. Now he was not hard at all to use. All I really did was <clears throat> I cut a cardboard, um, basically cut a cardboard stick, right? And I and, and the reason why I use cardboard is because I wanted to bend it and be able to like turn it into whatever. You could use metal. You could use like wires. You could use a coat hanger. Basically, all I started doing was spraying around the stick with the with the foam and then the foam started to expand so when i first spread it it, didn't, it did not look like this it was smaller and then as it started drying it just started growing and this is what it is right now now i got lucky because uh intentionally i was like all right well i made i put the stick too but i also made sure that like i didn't put foam here so that i could insert um tetsu's hand into it so that's kind of like how i'm doing it right now is I'm putting it like that, and there you go. It looks like looks like he's. This is his arm, like you know, like. So I already did is I sprayed it brown as a base, then I sprayed it with a, a peach, and then with the almond color, and this is what I got right now. So this is a great base to start with. Now I gotta start coloring the different muscles and then giving it like red wires and metal pieces, and they start adding like fingers and just turn it into what it is. Now, McFarland did a version. This is McFarland's version. Here he has it going straight to the floor. And you see he has different browns and he has different um, metals and he has all these weird twigs coming out. It's very close to what's in the movie, very close. So I'm just creating my own version for my, my uh, Project BM from Bandai and Medco 
uh, Ted tool where the scale is bigger. I think he's like 1 6 scale. This is 1 12 scale or like around there. 6 inches I guess. But this guy is bigger. So awesome figure. And um, so yeah. So basically that's what I'm working on here. And uh, let's continue. Alright, so I got some good coats. A couple of things I gotta do. I, I want to run some red wires. Gotta run some gray tubing in there. And then put some like shrapnel kind of coming out. So, I really guess didn't put too much thought into all that. Because I didn't know what I was working with. Now that I understand, that would be something that you would start inserting as it's wet. You know, so in this case, I can't do that. So, <laughs> so I gotta figure out other alternatives. Um, but one thing that I'm I'm doing now is I'm getting some uh, epoxy of epoxy, and um, gonna make some uh, shrapnel. So right now I'm doing is I'm just getting the compounds, mixing them together, and then I'm gonna make them into a uh, long. Uh, like debris pieces and then start inserting them now good thing is this is foam so I can you know pierce things inside and you know put them inside so while when this hardens I'm gonna put a whole bunch of little uh, pieces of sharp shrapnel all around As you can see here, I'm, now that it's, it's not it's not hardening yet, but it's starting to. I'm taking the opportunity to start putting what I want on there before it dries up. But it's really coming together, it's coming together. It's all about the details. The details what makes it come out. So it really brings it out. Da -da -da. It's done guys and I'm actually very happy with this um, this this um, Tetsuo is actually one of my favorite figures and he's actually one six scale and um, by himself he's dope he's still dope he's awesome like the details on his arm the clothing the articulation this figure is amazing but I feel like he 
you know, I wanted to build the arm. So with spray foam, I was able to accomplish that. And now I can pose them with this arm like that. Okay. Look at that, that's crazy. That's crazy. And then with all the colors, as I was building it, you know, I was, I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, it just doesn't feel right. And then I started adding the colors and started adding the additional details. Oh, I just started bringing out this piece, this prop, like, to where I needed it to be. So, very happy, very happy. So, and also, now I'm going to show you how I want to set up my scene with him. Uh, here you go. I'm sure you, some of you guys remember this dial right here. This is the this is Tetsuo's throne. So I moved I moved the throne, start making some space. Uh, had the the debris on wire, so it looks like it's all elevated. I can add him to the mix. Alrighty, so there you go. There is <clears throat> all right. So look at that. It like really puts the scene together. If you guys watch the movie, this is the area where he actually starts getting crazy. Right in front of the throne, he starts tripping out, and then he gets it to the floor, and then his arm just starts deforming, and he just throws it out there. So this is came out to be pretty cool. So. So normally, I just end the show by saying peace, right? But uh, I've had some comments on people like wondering, like, oh, so what I do with this after. So guys, I do have an Instagram. And some of y'all asked me, you know, what do I do with these things after? Besides just putting them up. So I also do, for you know, toy photography. And I usually post them on my Instagram. So I usually do different, you know, two or three different angles. Give it my Photoshop touch and you know get it like to that dramatic effect. So in this video and you know going forward, I'm gonna start introducing those uh, pieces until the end of the of the video. All right, guys. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I know this was a fast video, quick turnaround, but you know hit that like button, write a comment about this video, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, guys. All right. Peace.